Welcome to this network programming uh, module of Python. In this, what we will do is we will try to look at the network capabilities, network programming capabilities in Python. At least we will build a client server chat and see how it works. As I told you, Python can be used for application development, which you have seen in the database and uh, browser automation, which, which you will see next. And also we can create it for writing system level code. Okay, so how do we do that? We are going to build this chat app. In this section, what we will do is we use the sockets, network sockets to connect between IP addresses and send messages. The messages are sent in the form of bytes. Okay, Sockets can be implemented over a number of channel types. You can have a Unix domain, TCP, UDP, so on. Socket module is provided by uh, our Python and it implements excellent network based communication over the network, uh, internet. First, what we'll do is we'll, in this chat app, try to understand, we'll create a chat server and a chat client. So there'll be a server and a client. So first, what we'll do is we'll create a server endpoint which listens to client connections, which will, uh, which will, which will listen to client connections. Sorry for the typo. So, so what it has to do is the socket will be implemented in Python and it has to bind to a port and a host name. First, you need to bind the server to a host and port and a host name. Now, this port is the... It is a software port. It can be anything from 1265534, excepting 443 and 80, which are used for internet and TC uh, telnet. Uh, and host name is your internet host name. Okay, so both are available through socket programs uh, methods. You can get host name as well as the port. Port you can and enter your arbitrary number, and you make it make the server bind to it. Once the server socket is bound to it, it will start listening to it every five seconds. Okay, so once you uh, any incoming request comes in, it will accept it. If you say accept, if it listens and uh, gets any uh, client uh, socket connection, it will listen to it. Now you can send and receive bytes to the client. So this is the basic implementation okay, of the server. Now building the client. Once the server is activated and listening, it's time to build the client. Again sockets. Now here you will not, even, what you will do is you will have to connect to a host and port. You will not bind or listen. You will connect to a host and a port. Okay. And now again, the client can send and receive bytes to the connected server. So this currently everything is in the same machine. Now in the internet, it can be a different machine also, multiple machines. You can send across multiple machines. Okay. So in that case, what will happen is this host will change in the client to the uh, other machine that you are connecting to. So suppose your client is B, you need to connect to the client server. Okay. So you can receive and sign. So now let's go and look at the code that is there.